for the closing remarks, Mr. Kadeem Marty, President of ASEAN and CEO of the host of ASEAN 2020, as well as the Soviet Good afternoon, all of you. Uh, first of all, uh, let me pay tribute to all of you for being still here on the second day after two days of really uh, very fruitful discussions and a lot of debate. I have rarely seen a conference on the second day with so much attendance. So really, a big applause to all of you. Well done. Allow me uh, to warmly thank His Excellency President Masisi for honoring us with his presence for the opening of this uh, conference. And uh, my thanks also, of course, to the chairman of uh, Botswana Stock Exchange, Lieutenant General Tebogo Masire. And a special, real special thanks to Tapelo Tsiole and the Botswana Stock Exchange for the fantastic, amazing job they did to put together this incredible event. Round of applause to Tapelo, please. I would like also to take this opportunity to thank all the sponsors for their support. Without them, this conference would not have been possible. So round of applause to the sponsors of the conference. This would not be complete without thanking all of the panelists for their contributions, for the insightful comments throughout these two days. Thank you to all of you. You did a fantastic job. And again, thank you to the delegates for being present in such great number after two days of talks. What is the takeaway from these two days? First, I noticed that uh, His Excellency the President mentioned that the uh, government of Botswana is already helping with robust regulations and government support to help resilient capital markets. And uh, there is, as you all know, there is a national blueprint, the National Development Plan 11 of Botswana, which takes into account the need to develop capital markets. We notice also there is a definite need to have more collaboration between governments capital markets authorities and stock exchanges to unlock the potential of companies and also draw more investment from both retail and institutional uh, investors across the continent. There is a need also to have more state-owned enterprises listed on exchanges to improve liquidity and also free cash for governments to invest in power generation, infrastructure, education, sanitation, and other government priorities. Our keynote speaker, with whom I agree totally on many fronts, gave us a very good overview of the operating environment, citing the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead of us. We need to consider factors like the level of gross domestic savings, which are insufficient, as stated by Xavier, and he is right on that point. The level of indebtedness, which in some countries may be too high. And we need also to keep under control inflation and interest rates to promote investment. While the world is fast evolving, so are the roles of stock exchanges around the world. And so if African exchanges are to increase their economic contributions to the above level of only 5% of financing of the economy, we must endeavor together to move with the time by synchronizing our social and economic mandates and thinking outside the box. A good example is what was done in Brazil by the um, Brazilian Stock Exchange BFN, and Bovespa BFN, 
other innovative ways of growing the markets have been shared, such as promotion, promoting international inclusion through mobile money, as, it, as was the case with M-Pesa and M Akiba in Kenya, good examples of financial innovation, which is actually innovation worldwide. SMEs need also more attention from exchanges. We cited that there are only 300 SMEs listed on African exchanges. We definitely need to help SMEs build capacity to be able to tap exchanges and capital markets in general. One example of that is the ELIT program, which is uh, working quite nicely both in uh, Morocco and in uh, French speaking West Africa. We now have 114 companies between Morocco and West Africa which have joined the program. And there are already some uh, uh, companies that have announced their intention to, to go public. During the discussions, we also learned that uh, there is a need to facilitate investment across borders, especially in uh, innovative products like REITs, uh, like uh, derivative products on index futures or uh, interest rate futures across the continent. So we need to foster cross-border investment. And uh, that is something which the AAMP initiative is helping. I remember all of us at AAMP stands for African Exchange Exchanges Linkage Project which is an initiative spearheaded by the ASEA that with the support of ASDA, and I am pleased to, to report that the African Securities Dealers and Brokers Association was officially created 15 minutes ago, right here. A round of applause for the brokers. This is really a historic event. This is the first time the uh, African brokers get together for an association, and we really look forward to them working together to have more cross-border trading going on on the continent. Last but not least, liquidity is recognized by everybody as the bedrock of capital markets. And as such, we must be really vigilant of the existing opportunities to foster liquidity. ALP is one of them, but there are other initiatives like technology, as was achieved in, uh, in Kenya, through MPESA, through M Akiba, many initiatives abound in, uh, in Africa that can help drive higher liquidity. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to conclude by here again encouraging all the trans, all the participants to participate in the transformation of the continent and help enhance community and improve listing of securities on our exchanges. In closing, I am pleased to report that Casablanca Stock Exchange will be hosting the next ASEAN conference in Marrakesh, in Morocco, in November 2020. It will be the second time. Thank you. I think uh, you have the chance to view the movie, the video on uh, Morocco. I wasn't here, I wasn't here unfortunately, but uh, I think we got to view what we can offer during the conference. But I recognize that uh, Botswana is going to be a tough act to follow. Congratulations again to you, Capello. And safe travel to all of you uh, those who are leaving today or tomorrow. I wish you a safe travel back home. And I wish you nice holidays because we're very close to the holiday season. Thank you again for attending and thank you for supporting this initiative. And really, I'm really pleased to see all of you present at the closing. Thank you very much.